But it's always good to be prepared. So here's a video to help you prepare for this storm. Now then, if you don't have any flashlights, but if your kids have these type of flashlights, use them. Because I use them whenever there's whenever the power is out, I use these because these are very powerful. They may be toys, but they can work as backup flashlights if you guys have these toy lights or toy storage or anything. Check. Next. Always prepare to have a large amount of water. Like, say about, if it's like two or three people, 20 bottles of water will work. But if it's a family of five, I give it like 35. Now then, if you don't want your items that are fabric or plushy to get on the floor, to get wet on the floor, if you have a flood, always put them in the high part of the closet. I'll be putting mine away. And I've already put all my stuff, stuff, all my soft stuff up in my books. And everything's all safe. Next thing is, if you don't want to leave your pet home in your home in a house when you when you take it to a hotel, make sure you bring the dog and her he or or her food, and make sure to bring her favorite treats and toys to keep her company. Because dogs like Jane here, she is afraid of storms. Ever since we took her home from uh, from the pub from Puppies Galore and Park, she's been afraid of thunderstorms. So it's always good to bring her favorite things. Or for your dog's face. But if you have a big dog and bark, 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 calm him down with a blanket and hug him. Calm him down. Always brush, always pat over his ears and his belly and everything. That will calm him or her down. Next, if you don't want your valuables to be stolen, hide them somewhere where that no one can get to them. Like on a high shelf. Or somewhere around. one of those camping grills but the liable food that we can be hamburgers and hot dogs for protein but if you don't want to do meat if you're vegetarian peanut butter would be good on bread especially potato bread tastes really good and if you want to bring instant food bring instant instant soup or instant robin that's what i'm bringing for my family just in case of emergencies and also apples can last long without 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 being in the freezer or in the in the frozen section, so you can so you can survive on fruits and vegetables. If you prepare your fruits as in snacks, put them all in plastic bags. And if you have a freezer bag, that'll work. And I have one actually. I'm thinking about bringing one if I ask my sister, of course. I have one in the back room just in case. You never know. Next, next thing you need to do is once you're in some once you're in a house with your relatives far away in a hotel. You bring things to keep you busy, like a book or music or your favorite toys. And to keep yourself comfortable, bring a blanket, bring a blanket and a pillow because you'll feel much more safer if you have something that belongs to you. Also, only take the necessities. And if you have fabric stuff like a chair, make sure to put make sure to put the chair somewhere high if you have like these type of sofas that i made or something like that cover it with <coughs> fabric but if you don't want it to wash away you need to 
something to fill your bed if you have this small chair like this. And make it with the covered end in your bed because you never know the pattern of the Everything around here is plastic on so that way you're safe. Except that. But it has a rubber fabric under it to make sure it's waterproof. And last thing or anything else, you need to turn off everything in the house to make sure the electricity doesn't make a boom boom. You turn off your fan, your computer, anything, including your printer and everything. Remember, bring what you can bring. Food, flashlights, medicine, medical stuff, anything possible. Also, keep everything in a bag or a big basket or plastic container. Everything will begin good. And that's my tutorials on being prepared for the hurricanes, after all. Me and my sister and my dad and mom, we've been through the hurricanes at the beach Jacksonville. We've been through it. Matthew was, we were at a hotel. But for that, we were stuck in the, our, we were stuck in Ocean 14. So this year, my family is all prepared. My mom is far away from the water, so she's practically safe. As for me, my sister, dad, and Gia Raven, we just got to do our best, get strong. But also, if you get nervous, if any of you have children out there, let them bring a special toy that will help them keep them safe. For me, I'm bringing Raven. And Raven has her own little doll. And even Gia has something that keeps her safe. Her dragon doll. So remember, if you have kids at the age of 5 to 10 or 12 or 13, let them bring one stuffed animal that matters most to them. Say a teddy bear. Or, oh, wait. Say for a teddy bear, a pony, a fun a fun character pillow or a favorite shape. Or something really fleshy and cute. Like an octopus or a ladybug. Or even a llama. And believe me, llamas are cute. Make sure to keep your children near you at all times. Don't let the young teens and children out of your sight. The storm is dangerous. And if you do have to take your dog out for a walk, bring newspaper into the house and let and let he or she pee on it. And if she has to poops, well, pick it up and clean whatever she or he made. Now then, that's for all Cooter and I can give. And one last advice. Pray to the Lord to survive. And that's it from Bianca Road Patolo. So, also, miniature note here. Um, I'll be gone from the house to Saturday. Uh, I'll be gone to the house Saturday to Monday. So, basically, everything will be locked tight like a jail shit. Also, to my friends, good luck. Also, Jayco and your mom out there and your sister, yeah, I won't be on here on Sunday night because I'll be at the house being safe from the hurricane. So I'll be seeing Jayco on Friday, as usual. Okay? Anyway, good luck with the story. Remember, pray to the Lord that it doesn't happen to you. Good day.